some kind of rising modulation. My name is Annie Klang, and today I'm collaborating with Daniel Ruane on a track, and we basically have one day to finish it. I really, really love Danny's music. Um, I, I first discovered his stuff when we were both on the same remix album for a Russian artist named Tropical Interface. He basically, he basically asked um, us and a ton of other people to remix uh, one of his albums, and then I came across Danny's remix, and I was like, hold up. <laughs> This kid gets it, like this is nuts. It was like nothing I'd ever heard before. I'm Daniel Ruane and I'm in music with laptop and a bit of hardware. I'm currently sat in my front room, my house, with my uh, laptop, my speakers. Hoping to get like a piece of work out of this that represents both our, our skill sets, our tastes, like what we want to hear when we're in the club maybe, something like that. Maybe go for faster VPNs as well. What we're gonna do mostly is within Ableton Live. So uh, we'll be recording Annie's screen where we arrange it. Um, yeah, I'll record a bit of my hardware, show you what I do with that. Let's do it. Uh, yeah. Pick a number between one and 200. Well, 173. 173, all right. That's the one we're using. I like that. Good choice. Oh, oops, that was a <laughs> MIDI track. I kind of love like incorporating like random elements into production, you know, because there, there's so many options and so many samples like, and there's, you know, there's been like avant-garde composers using like, you know, random methods for like centuries. And I think people don't do that enough, you know, like really just, not everything has to be calculated, you know, just like pick a number and then just stick with it and just make it work, you know? Yeah, for sure. sure. Test the boundaries. Oh yeah. Yo, let's right. layer like the, our kicks into this now. And that yes. other um, proper nasty kick texture we've got going up there will be like... Yes. Perfect for that. We started off with like a kick sample or a kick bass sort of sample that Annie had on her hard drive and just started creating like using other instruments, other percussion, other noise, other different sound designing samples just to make like a loop or a, a hook, I guess, if you will, that we could structure the rest of the track from. So like a main idea. Come here, Zoom. What? Zook. Zook, come here. Come here. What's your cat called? His name is Zuko. Oh, I thought you said Zoop. I'm like, that's a crazy <laughs> name for a cat. Hey, no, Zook. I, I, I call him Zook, but his, his full name is, is Zuko. Isn't he just the cutest? He is very cute. He's very cute. He's Aww. a little he's a little toad. Wanna help me, wanna help me you cue this night hat? Yeah? <laughs> he likes to help. Um, Ooh. It's like heavy. Screw it, go for it. Yeah. Like, like it really picks up on like the the release, yeah. you know, on the tail end of it. I'd probably turn them down by about like three decibels or more. The hi hats? Yeah. Yeah. No. Yeah. I always kind of struggle with that when when mixing. It's like you can never really turn down the hi hat enough. So it's like when you turn it down, it's just like the only thing you hear. We've always wanted to make some crazy, kick heavy club music. We're we're both absolute kick fanatics. All of our tracks are just loaded with intense heavy kick drums, and um, we didn't really hear a lot of that in other people's music. So we really wanted to just make something that was, you know, super kick heavy, forward thinking with some crazy, you know, zappy Optimus Prime-esque kind of futuristic sound design. Um, but something that would also really slap in a club, something very danceable, um, high energy, but also has that kind of forward thinking sound design element um, that makes it really interesting to listen to on headphones and also in a club.
I mean, you think that works? Could maybe like stutter this little drum and bass thing in here. You think that works? <laughs> Maybe one hi hat, like alter the hi hat. Um, do you know we've got that the division and what it's doing the brr, brr, the rhythm. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah. Maybe just like make it do a couple more harsh, harder grinds in the second half of the first section. Just to, okay. Just for... We ended up with this like 160 BPM halftime sort of track. It's got a bit of a 90s feel to it. It's got some sort of trappy hi hats. A really dubstepy big old snare. You haven't eaten this whole time? Bro. Uh, not really. Damn. I mean, yeah, I had some yogurt and half a protein bar. <laughs> Fuel. All right. Is that like too low though? So when it comes to artistic collaborations, it's usually a little bit difficult um, to collaborate on certain types of electronic music, especially if you're not in the same place physically. Um, Danny and I, for instance, we both have different versions of Ableton. We both have different uh, plug-in arsenals. We just, we use different equipment. So um, in the past, when we were thinking about how to collaborate, it didn't really, it didn't really, you know, pan out the way we had hoped. But what's cool about this project is we have Zoom, which makes it way easier for me to share my screen um, and for us to kind of walk each other through the process and actually talk face to face about what we're doing, about our concept. It's way easier than just, you know, exchanging a bunch of Facebook messages being like, what if we do this and this? Like, it's, it's just a way um, easier and more personal way to, to create music. Bam. Uh, oh, what do we call this? Silverware shuffle. <laughs> we didn't actually use the silverware in it though. Yeah, we did. Where? I did. Do you know that um, the intro where it goes? Yeah. I got uh, one of the transients from Silverware shuffle. Okay. I feel like that will suggest that it's going to be like a really shuffly. Hey, I know. Right? But eh, maybe. Silverfish shuffle? <laughs> Silverfish? <laughs> yeah. Silverfish shuffle. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Scuttle. <laughs> All yeah, right. Silverfish scuttle. <laughs> Why not? Like Danny and I have upset the heavens <laughs> with our multi-genre banger. Oops. <laughs>